Yes, welcome to another episode of Sarcasm and Motherfucking Orgasms. I'm your host, Will. Yo, thank you for tuning in, watching. I appreciate each and every one of you that, you know, checks the videos out. So, make sure before you do anything that you go ahead and you click that notification bell so you can get your daily dose of everything sarcastic with some orgasms. So, you know how we do it. Let's get sarcastic. So I know I can, you know, go hard on people um, by just saying things that sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. But I think this one that uh, we we got in the um, we got in the barrel that we're ready to fire and take our shots. I think it's going to make sense for a lot of people um, because everybody uh, enables it and we all become enablers in some point but I think people need to stop enabling others because you pass that on by letting someone else know that hey it's okay don't worry I got you I'll take care of you and then after a while you get fed up and I'm talking to you lady so it's time that you know you and I we have a heart to heart so come on relax and it's time to uh, pull that weave off <laughs> so I want to say this um, Hobo Sexuals Yes Hobo Sexuals And what I mean by that is You got these men out here That are sleeping For just a place to stay Hobo Sexuals Hobos That are sexual Meaning they'll sleep with you Just be able to stay there Now let me paint the picture for you So you can understand a little bit better because I know I got some slow ones and that's okay. Um, so you doing you didn't really do everything's fine and y'all go on a date and then next thing you know you invite them over to your place. Which is cool. It's fine, no problem. But then, you know, as soon as you do that, oh well you get ready to leave, you get ready to go wherever you do, he'd be like, Yeah, I'm gonna go, blah blah blah. And so as soon as you leave and he leaves, he creeps back in, he stays, and then he never leaves. And you're enabling an that person because you it comes to a point where it'd be like, nigga, you gotta go. You gotta get up and do your own thing. You can't be staying under here just because you ain't got no place to go. And most of the time these niggas don't because like I've said before, broken homes raise broken people. And so these men are so broken that they don't know how to be on their own because they're so used to being under someone else. Like they move from one crib to another crib. Like they are still men child. They are still babies. So like I said, if you really hear it, they move from one crib to another like they move from their mama to their girlfriend and they still staying in that between because like if you kick him out he'll go back to his mama's or he'll go back to his grandmama's or wherever but it's never like that man actually grows so what what happens these niggas become homosexuals these niggas you know just sleeping around from one bed to the next and the next thing you know they're bringing kids into this world, which is not fair. It's not fair to the kids, and it's damn sure not fair to the women or the women that is putting up with these niggas. Cause like these niggas say, "Oh, I got this bar, and I got this show, and I got this and that." Yeah, you do, but what are you really doing? Whose time are you wasting? Whose energy and space are you consuming and taking up by doing all these dumbass things? Like, you're a bum-ass nigga that you're not getting your shit together. You're a bum-ass nigga that's just living off somebody else and thinking that you're really um, controlling the world when you're really not. You're just invading other people's spaces where you're not doing nothing for nobody. You are just becoming a nuisance, a hassle, someone that you have to deal with, not because you love them, but more because... You almost, I hate to say this, but you also envy them out of the way because you're mad because they can't seem to get their shit together while you have yours. And ladies, you're no different to the fact because you allow these men to come in. You say you got a good dude. Women keep saying they don't want to build the bear.
bear. But nine times out of ten, they get these niggas that become build the bears because you gotta build this nigga up for the next one. And then you get mad because like this nigga is going on and prospering more than he was when he was with you. Well, since when you had the chance to kick him out, you didn't want to. Why? Because you had that in-house dick. You had that dick that was so good that you just got digmatized and like, oh yeah, I'm a. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him around because he only plays one role. This nigga can't even take out the garbage. This nigga can't even change the tire. This nigga can sit in your car. Yes, ladies. This nigga can sit in your car playing his music while you out on the end pumping gas in your car. That's not what a dude is supposed to do. Remember, in this world and uh, in the, the black culture, you got. Black and we got niggas and everybody hates niggas and you know what ladies most of the time you encounter niggas when you do encounter a good black man what do you do you think that he is someone that um he ain't he ain't for streets or he ain't for the culture or he's not doing what he's supposed to yeah most dudes are for the culture and doing what's supposed to but they're not going to indulge your time in women like you because you're small-minded because you're dealing with small-minded ass niggas all the time and when you stop doing this when you change your own fucking mindset and get rid of this rap because all he's doing is eating up all your cheese and then he's going to move on to the next show then what happens you become broken you start singing all these goddamn songs you're sharing all these goddamn memes that makes no fucking sense just because you picked the wrong one remember we all have a place to where we can change things where we can allow things to be better than what they previously was but you gotta be able to say enough is enough you can't keep quoting all these different type of things that's going to make you feel better when really it's not in order to make change you have to make a change you have to say enough is enough you have to stop dealing with these homosexuals and thinking well he's got something in him i know i can change him and see that's where you're wrong you can't change him only he can change the moment the moment somebody wants to change is the moment when someone gets up and be like, you know what, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of the same thing over and over and over again. Because remember, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and thinking you're, you're going to get different results. So you need to stop driving yourself crazy and driving yourself mad thinking that you're going to be able to change this nigga when you're really not. Like, this nigga is not for you. This nigga is going to put you in a rut that you might never be able to get out of. Why? Because you allow it. You need to stop allowing things to happen to you just because you think, Oh, I love him. Oh, I care about him. Oh, I know he can change. Oh, I know he can get his shit together. It really is not. It's not. Um, ladies, you have to get it together. You have to learn from your mistakes. Yes, Maybe one guy can change your opinions on men, but not all men are trash. Like, come on, you can't keep using that 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 same spin, thinking it's going to be for everybody. No, it's not. All men are not trash. Just the men you might deal with might be trash, but not all of them. Stop doing that to everybody. Stop categorizing everybody by saying they're trash. Not all men are trash, and not all men got bad dick. Bad dick. You know, some men got good dick, some men got mediocre dick, some men got that dick that you just don't want to try. But, I'm not saying that you need to go out and try each and every one. All I'm saying is stop putting a stigma on different type of men just because you had one bad relationship that might, and I say this loosely, and I also put in parentheses, that might have fucked it up for the rest. All of us are not bad, no matter what. We all deserve a chance, just depending on who you are. Now, yeah, you might be one of those who are always, you know, running to bad guys. Well, you need to change your pattern. You need to change your way of thinking. You need to change your logic because, like I said, when you change things, different things presents itself. Different opportunities comes about to where you just didn't know were possible. So when you do that, who knows what could happen? Like, really. Who knows what could happen? And when you change all this, 
great things could be on the horizon. So stop dealing with these homosexuals who only want to move in with you, eat all your food, take all your money, fuck you as many times as he wants to as you allow him, and then he moves on to somebody else. It's the same pattern over and over again. And until it takes one person to say, hey, I've had enough of this shit, nigga, you got to go. Nigga, you got to get your shit together. Nigga, you got to take it someone else who's going to deal with it. It's a moment that these dudes are just going to run rapid. I say myself, I have never been a homosexual. I've never gone from bad to bad, from place to place, because at some point I have to learn that I can't keep living off someone else just to make myself feel better. So I had to get my shit together. I had to be able to start from scratch and build from there. And once you're able to build your own foundation, build your own home, build your own mental to where no one can just start either, then you win in life because the best thing in life is when you do it yourself. The best thing in life is when you're able to say, I did this and no one did it for me. That's the moment where someone can never take that away from you. And once you have it, once you know what it takes to get, you will do anything to keep it, no matter what. The best thing we can all do is have our own peace of mind. The best thing we can do is have our own peace of mind to where we won't let nobody take it from us. Because the moment we let someone take it from us is the moment we rob ourselves of our own individuality. Because you're letting someone say, hey, you're not this. I want you to be that. Food for thought. So stop dealing with these homosexuals. The moment you stop dealing with these homosexuals is the moment you find a guy who can actually be your everything and be your all. But that can never happen if you keep running into the same patterns of these niggas who give you nothing but dick and headache. So, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel down below. I want to thank you so much for checking me out on the Sarcasm Orgasm YouTube channel. So, I am your host, Mr. Sarcastic himself. Will they fresh? You want to check me out? Head over to the YouTube page. That is Sarcasm 2 underscores Orgasms. So, I am your host, Will. And I'll talk to y'all all motherfucking soon. Can I have a bath?